Okay, so you have a virus on your computer, but you cannot get into your primary operating system, such as Windows or whatever. Um, in this video walkthrough, made by Hassan, me, from linux-livec.com, we'll be using Precise Puppy uh, 5.4-2. Or 5.4.2. Uh, this is one of the latest versions. You could make a bootable, bootable flash drive or a bootable CD in order to get into a working operating system. In order to install an antivirus software, uh, I'll refer to it as an AV, and and then uh, run a scan in order to clean out certain viruses. Okay, so let's get started. Um, this is the default GUI of Puppy. Linux, uh, you'll boot, it, boot up into this mm, desktop here, and then you go ahead and first thing you have to do is click on menu, then you'll go up to setup, and then you'll have to go to puppy package manager, and that is because puppy does not come with any antivirus tools built in. So what we're going to do is, uh, let me go ahead and uh, search type in AVAST which is Avast and then we're going to be searching sorry about that my virtual machine seems to be a little slow today and then click on search all repositories and then you just double click that in order to install uh, Avast antivirus uh, once you install it you could go ahead and uh, initiate it or start the program by going to Utility of Lost Antivirus Scanner. Uh, this is much easier because you don't have to go into, uh, um, you know, in the, in the terminal or the console in order to install virus scanners such as Clam Clamav or AVG and run that via the sh uh, via the shell terminal. Um, you would need to know a lot of commands in order to do that. So Puppy Linux and Avast creates a little you know easy to use GUI in order to clean up your virus. Once you start it, it may ask you for a CD key, so you'll just uh, you'll have steps on how to get the CD key for free for a year from Avast. You just click on that and they will go ahead and email you a CD key and you can just put that in there and start the Avast program. First thing we want to do is click on update database but since I already did that we'll go ahead and uh, for the purpose of this video we'll go ahead and skip that for now. Secondly we'll go ahead and select the folders. Um, uh, since I'm using a virtual machine and a test virus on my, I uh, actually put a test virus on my more uh, removable disk. Uh, it's actually uh, not harmful or anything, so don't don't worry about that. First thing you'll have to do is click on selected folders and click on add folder. Um, if you're if you're using a bootable disk, you'll have all this option as well as a um, folder called MNT, and then you'll just click on MNT which stands for mount and you'll have other folders show up uh, usually uh, you'll be able to tell which uh, folder is your or which mount point is your Windows directory within here um, Linux uses a different file system naming so my flash drive is called SDA1 we could verify that or you could even verify any of your any of your um, Windows partitions by simply go into console typing in fdisk dash l which stands for list the partitions uh, as you could see that my little flash drive here has been has been mounted as as sda1 so we'll keep that in mind so we could go ahead and run the virus scanner there and then we'll go back to avast here sorry about the lag here. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Anyway, we'll go ahead and click on OK. Let me just drag that over here. And then we'll we'll click on Start Scan. Looks like a virus has already been found since there was only one file in there. What we'll go, what I'll go ahead and do is uh, click on Delete. Click on delete. File virus has been deleted. 
but that's all for now and that must have been really simple for you to do um, if you are just a few notes if you are going to go ahead and uh, clean up your Windows um, machine that you're not able to boot into uh, make sure you at least know the file size of the of the of the mount point or the or the drive as others would like to call it because you need to determine that uh, within Linux and, and sometimes in Linux you won't be able to see you know C drive or D drive or E drive or anything like that because of its different uh, journaling files file system that Linux uses anyway make sure you remember how to do that and also the other thing is then make sure your device or your computer or laptop whatever you're cleaning up is connected to the internet via ethernet cord because you will have to get into the package manager and install download and install a vost into the system as it does not come with uh, come with it pre-built once you do that uh, the scan might take a few hours to do so but you'll be able to clean up every virus that's preventing you from booting into Windows I hope this tutorial has helped you again my name is Esan and I'm with linux-livecd.com go ahead and check that website out for more information as well as more tutorials just like this